Right, so new video, new kind of layout, background thingy, my jig, my bob. Half of it is kind of bland. <laughs> half of it is kind of bland, admittedly, but the other half is quite not. I'm quite proud of what I've done there, especially getting all of those figures to freaking stand up. That's a that's a a big a big thing. Uh, a lot of, by a lot of people, I mean one person has asked me can you show off your collection? The answer to that is no. <laughs> There's not much to show, to be honest. You're pretty much seeing all of it there. But yeah, there's not... There's not enough to show off, to be honest. Um, what I will show off, though, is the comics that I got this week. Uh... Yeah, uh, a lot of this week is a lot of catch up. To be to be honest, uh, I'll just sort some of the stuff out so that it looks somewhat so it looks somewhat professional when I show them off. Uh, I know I should have done this before I started filming. Uh, fine, I should have done this before I started filming, but oh well. If you guys, you guys don't come here because it's extremely professional. You guys come here because I, I, I don't know actually. Why do you guys come here? Let me know in the comments. Uh, yeah, but the the books that I picked up this week, I pick, I finally started uh, with Superman. Uh, I got Superman number one and number two. I'm ten issues behind on this. Uh, I know it's going to take me a while to catch up, but. I think every time I go in to get the books that I would for that month, uh, every time that I go in to get that week's books, I will pick up two of whatever I'm behind on. Uh, so for for right now, it's Superman, Green Lantern, Doctor Strange, um, Iron Man and Moon Knight. Uh, so yeah, that's... That's actually less books than I thought, and less, less books than it had been. Uh, Avengers Inc. is a mini, so it's just three, and then I'm done with that. Finished another book with this. I'm fully caught up with one book, and I've finished a mini with this week's haul as well. Um, so yeah, Superman 1 and 2, I've heard nothing but nothing but good things. I've All I've heard from this is I need to be... is if you even have a tangential interest in Superman as a character, which is the population of the planet, <laughs> has a tangential, I think, even if you don't have internet access, you you know who Superman is, and you have, a, uh, if not an interest in the character, you have, you know the image, you know the S, you know the cape, you know what, Superman is. I don't, there's no one, even if you don't know the difference between Marvel and DC, even if you don't know who the Fantastic Four are, even if you don't even know who the Avengers are, you know who Superman is. And you, I think you know who Batman is as well. But yeah, um, I don't need to explain who Superman is to someone who isn't a big comic book reader or isn't a comic book reader at all isn't into the superhero stuff in in general at all you sh i don't think you'll come across anyone that is like superman what what are you talking about uh yeah there's uh, you're not going to find anyone like that <laughs> tangent over uh next book i have got caught up with properly uh green lantern war journal um I'm going to chug through my way with the main book, uh, which is proving divisive. <laughs> but this, uh, at least the first two issues, were good. The first two issues, very good. And um, if it carries on like the first two, uh, then great. If it doesn't, then uh, I don't know. At least there's another Green Lantern book on the shelves to, to pick up. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get stuck into these and to get caught up with Green Lantern War Journal because 
one, it's John Stewart. <laughs> two, I don't have another Green Lantern book to 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 do. Um, but the the big thing is uh, with Green Lantern and Green Lantern War Journal. The big thing that worries me is. I am pretty sure that at some point there is going to be a Green Lantern event uh, where the two books are going to the two books are going to cross over with each other or intersect in some way. Where if you're only reading one and not the other, you're only getting half of the book. Um, but yeah, uh, next Hawk Girl number six of six. Uh, really been liking this series actually. Uh, Hawkeye is a character that I never really have gotten anything out of. Um, and I don't think after this, I will, I'll be like, I've got to read everything Hawkeye, everything that Hawkeye has been in. I'm going to go pick it up. But what I will say is this series in particular on its own as its own thing, I recommend to anyone. I recommend to everyone. Uh, it's very, very good. Uh, and... James Gunn, if you're looking to to spin out Hawk Girl from Superman Legacy into her own thing, if you're looking to do a Hawk Girl movie or show or whatever, or like um, straight to HBO movie, not saying that you should put Hawk Girl on a straight to HBO movie thing, uh, but if you are looking to do something with Hawk Girl. Outside of having her just appear in a Justice League thing or appear in Superman or appear in another character's movie, this is the book that you should go with for what to do with a movie for it. And I hope you do the opposite of what Marvel's done. And I hope that you uh, actually take the source material and direct, directly translate that into film instead of just picking the hero, the villain, and the name of the story, and then making everything up. <laughs> making everything else up. Uh, and how they how they end up fighting is completely made up, and you in, engineer a circumstance to get the hero and the villain to fight. Instead of, instead of doing that, you should take what is already in, written for you, directly translate that into a film, uh add your own script to that but base it around use the comic book storyline as a framework and hopefully with Tom King on board you can do that uh I don't <laughs> I'm I'm not under the uh I'm not under that umbrella of people who are like um Tom King because he's written some comics that are kind of not that great when he's written some some comics that aren't as good as some written uh, some comics that he has, the the point is the cream should always rise to the top, and the cream of what Tom King has done, his best work is some of the best work to come out in the last decade. And even even without that, without that being said, as a comic book community, we've been fighting, we've been grafting to get the actual writers of comics to get comic book writers to have a seat at the table when it comes to adapting those comics into film. And we finally have that. And a small, a small minority of people have taken it upon themselves to, to say that that's a bad thing to, to be like, Oh, you've chosen the wrong writer. And Oh, because they, because they've been writing, a, or because they were a, not so great Batman book because they wrote Heroes in Crisis. They don't deserve a seat at the table. That's bullshit. <laughs> Anyone deserves a seat at the table. If you're, if you're willing to, to say Rob Liefeld deserves a seat at the table, but then look at some of the artwork that he's done. Look at his, his Captain America. Um, objectively bad. Objectively not very good. But then you're okay with him getting a massive, or not maybe not massive, but having a role in the Deadpool movie and making that a thing. You're fine with that, but you're not fine with Tom King having a role in shaping what the DC universe will look 
like in film, or maybe just the adaption of his comic, which he wrote and is acclaimed, like critically acclaimed, and a crook called Darling, and one of the best comics that, you know, DC readers have have seen in, in decades, or in a decade. You know, one of the best modern comics and you're going to say that this this writer doesn't deserve a seat at the table. I don't know. I don't know. Um, next book is Thanos number three. The last book was bad. <laughs> I'm going to talk, talk about this again. Um, I didn't do a review video on the last haul that I did, but the last haul that I did included Thanos number two. And I didn't like issue two. Um, I thought for something that... Apologies. For something called Thanos, and for something that has parental advisory, it read like an all-ages book. It read like, um, there were no stakes. It read like there was, there was nothing really going on <laughs> in the book. Thanos drives a car, uh, for, for some reason, um, for, for a majority of the issue, uh, Hulk and Thanos fight, but it's not really a good fight. And there's, uh, you know, um, but that being said, Christopher Cantwell has done some of my favorite comics of recent years. He's, uh, an up and coming, uh, I don't know if he's an up and coming writer, but f for, for my, uh, from what I've seen, I've only started seeing his name pop up recently and there's been a lot of, uh, a lot of the stuff that he's written has been really good. His Iron Man is great. Uh, his Hellcat was amazing. This, I just feel like you're not going to win them all. And maybe Thanos just isn't the character for him. Uh, but hopefully the next, uh, hopefully the next two issues, this and issue four are really, really good. Uh, and takes us back to that first issue, uh, instead of, um, Instead of how the second issue was. Second issue wasn't wasn't that great. Uh, same with Fantastic Four. Uh, this is number 17. Uh, I've been up and down with this series. It seems to be every other issue is good and every other issue is bad. Uh, with this, uh, this being that being said, the last issue was not great. So that then <laughs> uh, uh, that then automatically means that this issue in all likelihood will probably be good going off of going off of the track record of Ryan North and this book uh this will probably be a good issue i'm just waiting for that story arc i'm just waiting for for something to happen i'm just waiting for it to grab me and maybe 17 issues in it should have already grabbed me but i'm just waiting for i'm waiting for that thing i'm waiting for that you know <laughs> i'm waiting for that thing uh, final book, Avengers number 10. This is probably the big one of the week, considering I didn't manage to pick up the actual big one of the week, which was, uh, which was, uh, Ultimate Black Panther number one. Uh, I've heard that it's great. I've heard that it's, it's very, very good. Uh, but I'm going to try and steer clear of spoilers until um, being able to read it for myself. I also didn't pick up Avengers um, Twilight number two again. The second week, a row, uh, week in a row, I didn't uh, pick it up. But next time I'm in my comic book shop, I will pick up Avengers Twilight number two. Uh, I'll also probably get caught up with uh, Moon Knight as well uh, because the new run started and the first issue of, my, uh, of the new run is in my section as well, so it's just five issues of Moon Knight, and then I'm, and then I'm, I'm up to date. I'm, I'm, I'm fully back in the back in the race, back on the saddle with Moon Knight. Uh, but yeah, um, that is the books that I picked up in. Uh, that's the books that I picked up uh, today. <laughs> I picked up, I picked them up yesterday, uh, but. Um, listen them off today because I actually get the chance to film today. 
Uh, I probably won't do a review video for these, but what I will do, I have a first impressions for season six of Disney Speedstorm to get up. I have a, uh, <laughs> I will probably, you know what I'll do? I'll do a video on the Hawk Girl Mini as a whole, how, how I feel about that. Uh, after finishing it, after getting it, getting it done, getting it finished, uh, I will do probably, I might do individual videos on, I might do a, a video catching up on uh, Green Lantern and then uh, when I've, when I've caught up with uh, Superman, I'll do a video uh catching up with superman with all of the all of the back issues which is like 10 issues of superman i've missed so yeah i've got probably doing that and breaking it up like that uh is probably the better idea but yeah i will and the thing with the thing with avengers as well why i didn't say much about it um i did uh, i i said to the guy in my comic shop um, the, of all of the Jed McKay stuff, especially now that I'm, I'm getting back on the saddle with Moon Knight, of all of the Jed McKay stuff that he's doing at the moment, and as much as I'm not, I'm not, um, in it with Doctor Strange, uh, I think this, uh, this might be the weakest one. Uh, from what I remember, Doctor Strange number two, I, I did like. I uh, know it's on number 12 now. Uh, but yeah, Doctor Strange is the one that's going to that's gonna be the decider. It's like, Jed McKay is a good writer and a competent writer. He's doing a really good job with Moon Knight. Uh, it's just, this hasn't grabbed me yet. I feel like it's been consistently okay. And... <laughs> And for, it's been consistently okay. And for me, that's that's kind of leading it to be a little bit forgettable. I feel like I'm reading an issue of Avengers. And then when I come to actually do the, um, do the review video, I've completely forgotten everything about the book. I've completely forgotten what the book is even about. <laughs> but yeah, I will... Get those read. I'll get a Hawk Girl video up. I've got a Disney Speedstorm video to do. Probably got several Disney Speedstorm videos to do. Um, I get a few character reviews done because that's going to force me to do uh, to do the rank multiplayer, which I need to get into a rhythm of so that I have enough tokens to get the the Golden Pass next season. Uh, and I've got basically two months to farm to farm rank multiplayer uh and that just means getting a few characters up to level 13 uh or to rank 13 but yeah uh just if i can farm as much content out of that game as possible then so be it <laughs> it's just the constant grind the constant uh cement mixer of uh of content we've got to keep it rolling got to keep it on uh, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below what you've been reading, what you've been, what you've been excited for. Please do not spoil any book <laughs> in the comments. Uh, please don't because, uh, it's just, it's just not, it's just not a cool thing to do. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Peace.